Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Pastor James, family pastor at Wyandotte Family Church. And uh, in the last video I did, I just talked very generally about what prayer is. And we walked through a model prayer that Jesus gives us. And I'm going to talk about another model of prayer that some people have found helpful. Because sometimes we get into a situation or you know, we could just be extra tired. Maybe we didn't sleep well the night before. We had a long day and we're at the end of the day. And uh, we know we need to just spend time with Jesus to be encouraged, to be refreshed, to just share our burdens on him. We cast our burdens on him because he cares for us. And uh, But we're just in a place emotionally, mentally, uh, where we're just drained and we don't know what to say or where to begin. And so this model is called the ACTS model, A-C-T-S. And it's something that I use quite often when I'm not sure where to begin. I go, I'll sit down and just go, God, I'm exhausted. I don't know. And, and words aren't even coming to me. And I can go, you know what? Um, I can at least use this as a framework to begin the conversation. Um, you can think of it as sort of a, an icebreaker in your conversation with God. So the A is adoration, or it's worship, it's praise. It's adoring God, showing your love for God. And um, just so sometimes when I don't know where to begin, just like, you know what, God, here's what I know to be true of you. You are faithful, you are true, you are just, you are kind. God, I praise you and I bless you and I love that you have loved me so much that you don't hold my sins against me. And that can start the conversation. So that's A, adoration, showing love or expressing love to God. And then the C is confession. And the confession is just simply being honest with God. Uh, sometimes that may be a confession of sin. God, this is how I have hurt somebody. God, this is how I have not obeyed you in a particular area. Um, and But confession is also being just honest about um, where you're at in life. God, I'm elated. Thank you. You know, uh, I, I feel great because I see how you answered this prayer. Or, God, um, I'm feeling just down in the dumps. I, you know, my, my best friend, the relationship got broken. Um, I've, I've been hurt in this way by, you know, um, somebody lied at me, lied about me at work. And Lord, I'm just, I'm being honest. Like, right now, I'm feeling a lot of pain. So confession can be um, any way in which we're just speaking honestly and truthfully with God about our situation, our feelings, uh, our interactions with other people, our interactions with God. You can be honest with God and say, God, I'm mad at you because I feel like this, this, and this, and I don't understand how that's fair or how that's just. You can be honest with God in that. So C is confession, just simply being honest with God, uh, and he's big enough to take it. You can um, you don't have to pull your punches with him. You don't have to uh, try to, to fancy your language or try to uh, soften your language. Just be uh, right and honest with God. And then after you've confessed, you can go to T, which is thanksgiving. So just tell God thank you. After you've been honest with him, you say, God, thank you for letting me be honest. I, I really needed to get this off my chest. And thank you for being so gracious and um and letting me just hear that and to experience your love in spite of my faults and failures. You can thank God for how he's provided and how he's answered prayer. Uh, you can thank God for the relationships you have. You can thank God just for your life. Um, really, anything that God has given you as a gift can be, you can offer thanks for. And then the last one, S, is supplication. And that's kind of a fancy word for um, asking for what you need. And so... After we've thanked God for his faithfulness, for his um, forgiveness, his blessing, whatever, we go, God, I have this need. You know, the car broke down, and uh, Lord, we need to find a, a faithful and an honest mechanic. Will you give us discernment as we go through the phone book? Or, God, um, my friend um, it, it was just diagnosed with cancer. God, I, we need you to give him peace and comfort. We need you to give the doctors wisdom and direction. God, we need supernatural divine healing and we believe in that and um, you can just ask him jesus in your name we uh, we speak healing over this friend whatever that may be so supplication <coughs> is just asking god for the things that you need or that other people in your life needs so that's the acts model of prayer adoration confession thanksgiving 
and supplication. So if you're ever getting ready to pray and you're like, man, I don't know where to start, not sure what to do, that's a simple thing to follow. And uh, for me, it's been a really great tool to help start that conversation, break that ice, and then uh, I'm able to go from there. So thanks, guys. Hope you find that helpful.